best that we can do to be in constant communication. Um, like I said, not only with our temporary employees, but with you as well. So uh, we are uh, closed to the public. Um, effective this past Monday, we're not accepting guests into any of our office locations. The only individuals that we are asking come to our locations are those that we are literally currently placing on uh, positions. And really the, the reason for them coming into our office locations is to onboard them with the, the various I-9 documents. Uh, we are continuing to ask our staff, those of us who are in um, the various MEDR offices, is to uh, follow the protocols of sanitizing, and everything, cleaning on a, on a constant basis, uh, washing your hands. We are following um, the proper protocols as it pertains to social distancing. Um, and we are, uh, actually, we put in place a task force here at MEDR Staffing last week that consists of four individuals, including myself, uh, our risk manager, our HR um, and safety specialist, along with our uh, VP of compliance. So we instituted a task force here at Better Staffing last week. Uh, we're the four individuals that are really taking the lead as it pertains to the COVID-19 so that the rest of our staff can do what they do best and that is to serve you, the client, and our temporary employees. And our task force, um, it has put together a number of resources. We are literally at this moment updating our Metter website. So we hope that you will use our Metter website, uh, metter.com. Um, you'll notice when you go to our homepage, there's gonna be a pop-up that is specific to the COVID-19. All you have to do is click on that. It's gonna have resources for you as a business owner or as a customer. Um, anything that pertains to COVID-19, um, how this impacts you as a client, a number of links and resources to use uh, that will be made available to you. We're also including resources that are specific to our employees. Um, their concerns, of course, are heightened. Um, there's a number of our employees who have been released from their job assignment. We understand the fluidity of the situation. Um, we understand that many of you are going to um, just essential personnel only being at your job site. And some of those non-essential employees include some of our temporary employees. So uh, what we're doing um, in regards to those employees is they are automatically going to um, our hot list and they are the first ones that we're looking at placing back out on a job. So what we continue to hear from our temporary employees uh, right now is their concern for work, as you know, you're probably hearing um, and do hear in the news. And so our top priority is to place those individuals. We are so excited um, and encouraged by the productivity of our temporary employees who are working um, jobs right now. Just um, their dedication to being at your job site, to continue to move the supply chain, uh, whatever you know, particular role they might be in, they really consider it um, right now just a, a privilege to be on a job and to continue making our economy um, move forward. So we are constantly looking and reevaluating um, the role that Better Staffing plays uh, with you, the client, and how we can help you. Our sales team is. Um, actively involved in, in shifting their strategy and calling on many industries and employers who need employees right now. Um, so if that is you or anyone you know, we ask that you reach out to our account managers and or our corporate office. We're here and available um, to help you find those individuals that you need right now. Um, like I said, it's just a, it's a very fluid situation and we're trying to do the best that we can to keep a handle on this. We know that many of you, your leadership teams are meeting on a daily basis. We also enforced that and started um, our leadership team meeting daily calls this past Monday. So uh, we are evaluating um, just literally on a 24-hour basis what we need to do and, and coming together to talk about um, the day and the, the types of jobs, the types of candidates that we need to be looking for, where our clients are at. What we do ask of you is, if you have not already got in touch with us, we ask you to please 
um, reach out to your recruiter and or your staffing consultant, branch manager and or account manager. If we don't currently have your protocols that you've put in place right now for your uh, site location and your company, we ask that you do that. Um, we have heard from many companies, but we know that protocols are continuing to change. In the event that you are going to um, change the way that um, you're working, be it if you're going to go to 100% remote working or you're only having those essential people come and versus non-essential people, if you would continue to keep us informed and engaged on decisions and uh, protocols and things of that, that nature that you're putting in place. What I would say is just the key takeaway is be informed, pay attention to the facts, make sure that you are on conference calls or webinars that are taking place. In fact, I believe there's one this afternoon at one with the CDC. Um, that's what our task force and our leadership team has been doing behind the scenes literally for probably the last two weeks is we are staying engaged with uh, content from the American Staffing Association to be aware of what our what our industry is doing. We're on conference calls with CDC. We're on conference calls behind the scenes, literally with the municipalities in which um, we have office locations and doing the best that we can do to remain calm and to continue to operate without a spirit of fear. And most of all, to have factual information our first priority is to our internal team here at Matter Staffing and those employees. And so we just encourage you and know that you're doing the best that you can do to operate uh, just with a spirit of uh, compassion, with mercy, with empathy. Um, the world as we know it and as we see today, literally at this moment, is ever evolving and shifting and changing. And like I said, we are just privileged to be able to operate in a sphere of influence um, with people who need jobs and to connect them with you. So again, if there's anything that we can do for you, please do not hesitate to reach out to one of our account managers or those individuals here at Better Staffing that you're currently working with. 